Well folks, we're here at uh, the Montrose Basin. It's filling up, the tide's coming in. When I came over this way a wee while ago, there was nothing there. And uh, all the water's now suddenly come back in. But behind me there, that's the uh, South Esk Rail Bridge, was that? I just read that as well, South Esk Rail Bridge. Now, opened in 1881, but the original was opened in 1879. And the original was designed by our friend Thomas Bausch, who uh, designed the Tay rail bridge the one that fell down now 1879 is when the rail bridge fell down in dundee and the original was designed in 1879 by thomas bausch so what they had to do was inspect this bridge to make sure it wasn't in the same state as the tay rail bridge and they found that it was there was lots of curvage in it and there was some of the the beams are all bent so they had to re redesign knock it down and redesign it all and poor old thomas bausch was sent to whatever so yeah, this could have been another disaster. This could have been a second Tay rail bridge disaster, but it was diverted, inverted, reverted, diverted by the inspectors. So there it is. That's the new bridge, and it's been there since 1881, folks. So it's quite a long, a long spell. We'll just stand here and wait for a, a train to come across. Right, let's touch one of the one of the posts. So there it is, folks. We'll try and get down to the water's edge. But here's an unusual park bench, folks. Look, it's got three separate sections and three little plaques for the uh, crow family. Crow and crow family. And another crow. So yeah, look, it's in three different, uh, three different bits. Yeah, typical folks, there's no trains, but there's one due about 1423. So we'll try and catch it on the viaduct on the uh, on the other side of this little uh, little walkway here. Quite nice down here. So this is where I come to get all the uh, sunset shots. You can say it now, sunset shots. Just down here, folks, on the basin. You get beautiful sunsets down here this time of year. About half ten, half ten-ish. Right, we're going to go down these steps onto the, the shore here. It's like a graveyard for boats. I think it's going to be a bit muddy actually. But there's the uh, other viaduct. So I wonder if this will eventually become like the one up at uh, St. Cyrus that you can actually cycle across and walk across. Maybe like 50, 60, 70 years when this is all gone, or if it'll still be standing. Actually, right, you can't actually get any further. It's kind of cordoned off with boats, and as you can see, it's a bit squelchy over there, folks. Right, we're gonna come down this side here, folks. Don't know what's down here. Might be a private, I'm not sure. But uh, it's underneath the viaduct again. I think it's somebody's house. Is it? Before it's got another view of the, uh, the viaduct from down here. Right, I was going to walk along that way there, folks, but I think it looks a bit marshy. I think it goes into the wildlife uh, park. So um, I'll just stand here waiting for the train to come across. It's due in a couple of minutes. Look at that mighty, mighty fine view. I nearly missed that, folks. That was quick, like five seconds. There you go. I thought it'd be one of the big, uh, like, Zuma trains, but just one of the wee Scott Rail ones. Right, let's turn and go back and uh, see what else we're going to find in this little mini jaunt today, folks. Right, in all my years, I've never walked along this path, folks. This is along the main road between uh, Montrose and Arbroath. I'm going to walk along a bit and see where it goes. I think it's maybe a wee footpath up the side um, to a place called Craig. Right, here's the sign there, folks. We'll give that one a go, see where it goes. It goes to somebody's house, I think. Oh, I'm a bit lost now, folks. There's a crossroads. Um, one going that way, and there's a path going this way. But on the map, it looks like that way goes up to a farm. 
but there's no signposts. Uh, right, what do I think? It's either going to go straight up there or along there. Um, I don't know, folks. Let's try this way. Right, I appear to be in a farm somewhere. Um, I'll follow this <laughs> grass path. Nice view from up here, but uh, you think it'll be signposted? Actually, quite high up. Right, so that's where I was a wee while ago, just down there at the basin. And there's the uh, famous Montrose steeple in the middle of the picture there. And then looking across to uh, St. Cyrus and John's Haven. I've decided to walk down this way, folks. I think there's a fox coming up here. I actually see a fox. Can you see it, folks, in front of me? Look. It's a fox. Was that a dog? It's a fox, folks. What do I do? Just run away. Gone. I'm sure that was a fox. It was. It was a fox. Just darted into the um, the rushes there. That's a bit bizarre. Go down and see if I can see it. Well, I think it's away in those rushes there somewhere, folks. Can't see it. Thought it was going to jump out at me. Never had a standoff with a fox before. There's another first for today. <laughs> Excellent. I'll try and zoom in when I go home so you can get a better picture of that. But uh, the zoom on this camera, although it's a good camera, a good phone camera, the zoom sometimes goes a little bit, a little bit blurry. So I think this takes me onto the Craig Road here, which I've driven down a few times before. And then back down to kind of the Ferry Den and along. You can actually see the Ferry Den Lighthouse away in the distance there. That's the one. That I was up, that I put pictures on the other day, way in the distance. So here we go, here's another random park bench. I've actually stopped here before for a coffee on this uh, dilapidated looking park bench, but it's got a good view from here though, as we walk down into Ferry Den and then back into Montrosa. Right, so there's the signs for uh, Ferry Den. Now, it was actually there on Sunday, folks, because um, it was dolphins. Well, a Sunday evening, Sunday tea time. It was in my house most of the day, but um, there was uh, dolphins spotted. So I jumped to my car and wheeled up to Ferry Den here to see the uh, dolphins, but I'd missed them. They were there at lunchtime. Um, but when I was there, I was lucky enough to see the five o'clock horns going off for the NHS. Was that 74 years or something? So all the, the horns in the harbour went off, which is pretty cool. So I put a wee clip on uh, just here.
uh, not been to oozing for a while, it's a wee bit smelly out there, but that's the original home of uh, Spiz Dog up there. Now, here's the railway line here, folks. What railway line is this? Oh, that's the one that, um, yeah, because it curls around, obviously. That's what it is. Now, this is the only single piece of track, actually. Now I think about this. Um, the only single piece of track on the east coast, I think. The trains actually have to stop up there somewhere um, to let other trains come through. So basically, folks, I've walked along this path here. I've walked across around there, along there, back, and then right along the main road. And then cut right back over there, around the back of Craig. And then back down here, folks. So yeah, just a nice little, nice little stroll. And back at the basin again. Like much excitement, folks. We've sat down here at Fairy Den again at the dolphin place. Um, haven't seen any dolphins, but I've seen a couple of seals, but there's a massive big boat just to wait to come in. So uh, I'm gonna stay here and watch that.